platform. We'll be uh, releasing the names uh, of the people who will be coming to the meetings. Uh. Following uh, an absence of 65 days, United Nations international staff returned to Kabul today. In uh, saying so, I would like to also recall that UN activities never stopped thanks to the great dedication and courage of our national Afghan staff. Uh, I'll be able to tell you about some of the important meetings that are about to take place. Mr. Vandrell's uh, intention during this mission will be to uh, look at the situation on the ground following the recent changes that have so profoundly affected Afghanistan. During the next couple of days, he will continue his contacts with the United Front and hold discussions on a series of uh, issues related to the latest developments. He will also extend an invitation to the United Front to attend the meeting of Afghan parties and groups that the Secretary General, Mr. Kofi Annan, and the Special Representative, uh, Mr. Brahimi, wish to organize as early as possible with the full backing of the United Nations Security Council. There has not been uh, any uh, proposal of a peacekeeping mission per se. Uh, as you know, Mr. Brahimi, when he spoke to the Council, uh, presented three different options. Was, uh, one was that of an all-Afghan force, which would be the preferred option to keep peace and security throughout Afghanistan. At this stage, uh, it's probably uh, rather unlikely. Uh, the second option that he proposed was that of a deployment of a multinational force along the lines of maybe what we have seen elsewhere in terms of uh, practicality. Maybe that is the option that uh, uh, would be uh, the easiest to put in place. Be different in a multinational force. You have a country taking uh, the lead, uh, hopefully with uh, the support.